Today we're going to look at the traceroute command. We're going to use the traceroute command to determine our ISP from the actual internet. If we do two traceroutes to two different websites, whatever matches is our ISP, whatever starts to deviate, we are now actually out on the internet. We have left our internet service provider. I'm going to use the DOS traceroute command of trace RT and choose a website such as www.novell.com. When I hit enter, I start seeing the trace route for novell.com. Notice we've gone out to DNS and we resolved novell.com to the 130.57.66.5 address. We're now seeing our routes or each router we are going through in order to get to novell.com. Our first one was pretty quick, two milliseconds, one millisecond, and one millisecond. Well, that happens to be our router at our home. You notice it says home portal, it's a 192.168.1 private address. After that, we've gone out onto sbcglobal.net. Now notice some routers actually list out their name, such as lightspeed.cicril sbcglobal.net, and some just list an IP address. There's a uh, security reason for not listing your uh, full name and only giving an IP address because then it makes it difficult for hackers to know where they're at, or they're at in your network, but then it also makes it difficult for people to troubleshoot the internal network if they have to try to memorize every single IP address instead of using the name, which makes it easy to determine. Now we see we started off on sbcglobal.net, hops three and four are IP address based only, Hop 5 is AT&T.net. Hop 6, while we're still from the look of this, we're on a border router. I'm betting that's what BR3 is. In Chicago, CHI13 on Alter.net. Notice 7, this says request timed out. Chances are they're blocking the trace route command from reporting any data. Step 8, we're now someplace, well, consider I know where Novella is, probably in Salt Lake City. I'm betting that's what the SLT on Alter.net is. Step nine, we're actually at Novell on customeralter.net. Then two uh, addresses uh, just by IP address, and then finally we're at Novell. Now this doesn't tell me everything I need to know. I know I'm on SBC Global, and AT&T is part of that, but I don't know if those first five hops are my ISP or that I already leave SBC Global and get out to the internet. So I'm gonna perform a trace route again. This time, let's go to ebay.com. You want to try to pick two different websites you know are in two different areas. It helps out a little bit. We hit enter. Once again, we see our home net. Now notice hop two is that lightspeed.svcglobal.net. Hop three is identically the same by IP address. We're waiting for hop four. All right, it's exactly the same at 1283.43.29. All right, notice step five is not the same address. All right, we jumped out to a 12.122.133.33 at AT&T.net. Considering we're still in the 12 network, I'm betting we are uh, AT&T.net. And notice we got right away to someone's <laughs> website at deploy.static, uh, or some technology site. Notice we only took seven hops. Looking at this, I can guarantee hops one, two, three, and four are definitely my ISP. Hop 1 is my own router, but 2, 3, and 4 are identically the same between the first and the second trace route, meaning that my ISP is at least four steps deep. This isn't bad to have an ISP and be out on the internet in only three or four steps. If you do a trace route and you match two ISP or match two uh, different networks and you start going 10 or 11 hops before it alters and before it's different, that means you're spending a lot of time in your ISP before getting out to the internet and getting to your destination. You may want to talk to your ISP about shortening those routes or maybe changing your ISP. I hope this was helpful to find out who your ISP is by matching two different trace routes. Whatever is very close or identical is your ISP. When it starts to vary, you're actually out on the backbone of the internet. Now, the reason why eBay was so short is eBay probably has a location in Chicago, so I probably never left Chicago where Novell was all the way in Salt Lake City. If you know the location of major companies, you can actually, that if they're in the same city, you can actually try this with two companies that are relatively the same city, because then you'll know the trace route will go through the same procedures, and you should have a pretty good idea of who your ISP is. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll talk to you later.